this video, I'm going to show you how to use Crossman in Madden 22 to take away a lot of the different types of concepts that your opponents will be wanting to run on you, to, uh, especially out of the gun bunch. What's good, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel. It just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies on the channel. Uh, that way you know whenever a new video comes out. And guys, we have talked about this before but my nickel 335 wide defensive uh, guide 46 defensive guide i think is the best defense of the game and the main reason why i like it so much is because of the coverage that we can create so if you take a look at this you're going to see that i'm in the nickel 335 normal and i have subbed safeties in at every linebacker position i've also got corners across the board what this is going to allow me to do is whenever i audible down to 335 wide not only am i going to have players that actually react to the ball but i'm also going to be able um, to put them in cross man assignments so i can man them up on anyone on the field regardless of where that player is so let me just illustrate. So if I come out of the nickel 335 wide, if I try to take Pierre Paul here and man him up onto a, a receiver, it only allows me to man him up on the left side receivers. So I can only man him up on Mike Evans or Ronald Jones. Now, uh, let me just back out of that and come back out in 335 normal. Now, I also have said this before, uh, I would recommend that you guys put the safety nickel back package on. And the number one reason why I like this package um, is because it gives us better, it gives us more unique and different adjustments for our safeties that we can do uh, to put them in deep halves or deep thirds on both sides of the field. So I like to come out and cover for a drop every play, and we're just gonna audible down into, um, we're just gonna audible down into Tampa two. Okay, so you see I'm in Tampa two now. Now take a look at this. When I go to that same linebacker, if I try to man him up, now I can man him up on anyone on the field. Um, and that to me is absolutely huge. So how we're gonna play this out is what I like to do is use Crossman as a method to be able to slow down some of the most popular routes in the game. So for example, I'm gonna take their linebacker on the left side of the field and I'm actually gonna man him up onto square. That's gonna stop any post routes. It's gonna stop anything over the top of that cloud flat. If he was on a streak, um, it's gonna stop all of those things. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy, Edwards, and I'm gonna man, cross man him on the guy that I believe to be one of the most challenging players to defend in the gun bunch, which is the R1 receiver or the slot receiver, right? The slot receiver is oftentimes on a corner route. He's oftentimes on a deep crossing route or a streak. Um, he's the guy that can beat me up the seams in a cover two. So that's what I like to do with him. And then from there, uh, basically what we're going to now do is we've got a lot of flexibility with the rest of our with the rest of our personnel. Uh, for example, I could take Jason Pierre Paul here and I could drop him into a bluff blitz or whatever I really want. Uh, I'm just gonna drop him into a bluff blitz in this example. Uh, and what that allows me to do with my slot cornerback is now he can either play this vertical hook or I could even base align my coverage. And when I base align my coverage, take a look at what happens. Now I can take this guy and I can put him into a deep middle third. I could put him into an outside third on the right side of the screen. Uh, I could do all kinds of different types of concepts uh, with him. And what I like to do with him the most is I like to put him in a middle read zone. Okay, the middle read zone is gonna be good because it's going to rob a lot of things over the middle like post routes and stuff like that, that the gun bunch loves. So now what we're left with is we're gonna use her onto this middle linebacker. Okay, now what we can also do with this is we now know that our safety is in a unique position as well and we can do a lot of different things with him. Um, you'll see here that when we, when we put him go to put him in an adjustment we can put him into a middle read as well so a um, lot of different flexible options here uh, if you wanted to you could put him in an outside third on the left that's really the only thing we have to worry about and that's pretty much typically what I like to do and then now what we've basically crafted here is essentially a cut a roll coverage um, where we can really do a lot of damage so that being said let me just show you double post here and how this is going to defend some of the most popular routes in the game you're going to see that these cross man assignments the three wreck all that stuff's very confusing to the defender or to the offense and it's going to cause friction it's going to cause problems so let me show you one other little concept here uh, we're going to use the tampa 2 shell to base this out of and again i like to base line uh, out of it. I just think it defends much better against Gun Bunch this year, uh, base aligning your coverages, unless you're playing man to man, uh, which I don't really play a lot of man to man this year because you can get toasted. So, that being said, um, let me take a look, let me show you another thing here that you can do. 
okay? This is going to get really adjusty. So we're going to take Wilcox, and we're going to man him up onto the uh, Mike Evans. That's going to take away post routes. That's going to take away anything. He's got inside leverage. It's going to take away the vertical streaks, post routes, all of that stuff. Now what I have is I can now cross man onto the slot corner. So you see here, whoops. I don't want my adjustments are being a little weird. Okay, there we go. So I can uh, cross man onto the slot receiver just like this. And then I can also now take um, this outside linebacker on the right because I'm not manning him up on Mike Evans. I can now man him up on the running back. So I can take away things like that in route, the seam wheel out of mesh post and stuff like that. Now what I have is a pretty unique little coverage, and the only thing that's left to do, in my personal opinion, is I'm gonna create what's called, what, again, a roll coverage. So I'm gonna put the corner on the, or the safety on the, on the outside into an outside third on the right, and then I'm gonna put the slot corner into a middle third. Uh, and then you see we can basically unbaseline it and bring it back down, and now you see, look at this coverage right here. The very unique, very unique little coverage. Um, I think this is very effective against a lot of what the Gun Bunch wants to do. It's very adjusty, but take a look at this. I mean, this is really, really good coverage. Um, the one route you have is that post. Obviously, you're going to have to follow that. Um, if you want to take that also away, um, another way that we can kind of accomplish the same thing um, is where we basically can come onto this safety here and we can leave that middle linebacker where he, where he is um, and leave him in that middle read zone. Now what this is going to allow us to do is, again, we're going to cross man on the crossing route. Um, we're then going to take this, this linebacker here, Winfield, and we're actually going to put him in man-to-man -man coverage on the square receiver once again, just like this, because this is now going to give us some freedom in terms of how our defense is going to play. Remember, I like to base align my coverage. So we're going to then take L1, and we're actually going to put him into one of the interest, most interesting zones that I think in the game. We're actually going to put him into a deep half on the left side of the field. So you see here, this he's going to run all the way over there. Um, the mid read is going to kind of delay it a little bit, and then that guy's going to go out there. And then obviously we have our outside third, just like that. And take a look at this coverage. I mean, this is this is something else, man. Look at that deep path. Look at that deep path. Just rob it, and it looks open at first, and then that guy just runs right into the way. So, use this concept and go crazy with it. There are some things that you can really try and test. Um, you can do this out of Cover Four Show Two as well. So, for example, if I come out in Cover Four Show Two, um, and I don't really think the quarter flats are really all that effective. They are okay, but they're not all that effective. And then what I can do is I can cross man on the running back right here, and then I can actually cross man onto that R1 receiver just like that. And that's one of the more biggest problems of this. And now what we've created is kind of an interesting little uh, little match coverage here because we've got these cross man assignments attached to the match, and they're going to try to throw some of these double posts, and it's just not going to be open. So mess around with cross manning. It's really, really good this year. It's something that you need to be using um, to stop crossing routes and stop post routes and all that stuff. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full 4-6 defensive ebook, there's a link in the description. You can get the defense for just uh, $15. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get the defensive guide, again, link in the description. Just head on down there, click that link, it'll take you right over the website.